Hello, and welcome to the first episode of a brand new series that I like to call Momster Movies. I am Bender, and this is my mom. Bubby. Bubby, affectionately known around the house. The object of this show is that... Uh, to scare the pants off of me. Well, yeah, yeah, that. <laughs> I love horror movies. Mom is terrified of horror movies. However, she agreed to sit down with me and watch horror movies every week and then review them. So this week we're starting off easy, in my opinion, with a movie called Terror Vision. So what was what was the last scary movie you watched? Uh, I got a late night viewing of Victor Frankenstein with Daniel Radcliffe oh, yeah. and James McAvoy. James McAvoy. Yes. Did you enjoy it? Um, I was entertained. To say the least. And I know you think that's a terrible movie. I haven't seen it. So. Oh, it's it's not good. Okay. It's overly acted. It, it, to use, to borrow some of your <laughs> phrasing is how you critique your movies. Uh-huh. It's terribly overacted by okay. Mr. McAvoy. Right. I blame the director. Sure. Yeah. All right. Um, but I did have to, like, I, I did have to hide a couple times. Really? I think I watched it by myself, though. Oh, my God. Wait. Yeah, I think Gaga went to bed. Okay. Yeah. So what, uh, just based off the title today mm-hmm, for our mm-hmm, first movie, mm-hmm. what are you expecting from Terror Vision? You know, I, I think somehow our signals got crossed. I thought we were watching Terror Eyes. Terror, okay. uh, like, didn't you put that in the Facebook, Terror Eyes? No. It was always Terror Vision? Yeah. Um, well, that really changes my idea of what we're going to be watching then. <laughs> Because I thought it was very clever with the terror eyes. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, that is clever. Terror vision is probably has something to do with somebody crawling through your television. Close, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, pretty Movie. good. Movie? Yes. All right, so we are Wait, actually... Is Ryan Gosling in this movie? No, Ryan Gosling is not in this movie. Ryan Reynolds? But uh, Garrett Graham. Garrett Graham is in it, and Diane Franklin. I haven't seen them in so long. How yeah. are... Oh, my... They're great. I've met both of them. Garrett Graham. And Diane Franklin. Hmm. Yes. Not Ryan Reynolds? No, sorry. Chris Pine? Before their time. Chris Evans? No. Chris Pratt? Actually, no. <sighs> so, we are about to watch this movie right here on the TV, and we will be back with a review. See you soon. Okay, wish me luck. Intellectual decay! Turn it off and rot your brain! Hey, the Puttermans are just a typical American family. The only thing they're missing is a pet. But have we got a surprise for them? You see, Stanley Putterman's new satellite TV has just gone on the blink. And it's drawn in a creature from outer space. Like all new pets, this one's causing a little trouble around the house. And he's eating the Pottermans out of house and home. In fact, no! it seems like this creature will eat anything. No! Well, just about anything. She looked right at my studs and cooled out. This dude's into metal! Now, it's up to the kids to break the creature of its bad habits. I said shut up! But he's not responding well to discipline. Earth children, please, I mean you no harm. I am Pluthar, here to save you. The Padamans finally got themselves a pet, but they never even had a chance to give it a name. Terror Vision, from Empire Pictures. And we're back. We just finished watching Terror Vision. So, what did you think? <laughs> I honestly expected to come over here and actually be scared. Yeah. I really did. And that was just um, like two hours of my life. I'm never going to get that back. <laughs> I'm never going to get that back. Never. Um, that was if Weird Science uh-huh. married Ghostbusters. Yep. And had a baby with uh, Star Trek. 
Yeah, I can see that. Uh-huh. And a little bit of Home Alone. Mm-hmm. They pulled from almost uh, every 80s stereotype Yeah. you could. I was ex- half expecting them to have a DeLorean as one of the cars <laughs> from Back to the Future. I uh, I think the movie's great. It's just ridiculous, obviously. It's so ridiculous. It's, uh, you know, I we started easy, and I think it's just more of like a comedy gross-out movie than anything else. It doesn't even try that hard to be gross. No, it just like kind of <laughs> is sort of you're disintegrating people, and there's right. like it's a green slime everywhere, and right. the monster is basically yeah. just like a pile of crap. I forgot Ghostbusters. Yeah. Heavily referenced the Ghostbusters right. with the slime. Yeah. So. Um, but there are so many awesome 80s references that I get because that's when I was in high school. Yeah. Like, did you get the, the uh, Lichtenstein art on the walls? Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah. But then there was also a artist very popular in the 80s called Patrick Nagel, who did these portraits of women, like very graphic, angular, severe women. Is and that his... like the uh, the cover of the one Duran Duran album? Yes. The Rio... Yeah. I want to do something like yes. that. Yes. Nagel was all over that. Then there was some like Picasso yeah. stuff in there. But uh, everything was to the, not even the nth degree, but like the... The O, P, Q, and R thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's with way the, over top. Right. I forgot about Valley Girl. Uh-huh. Uh, Nicolas Cage, uh, the guy, uh, the boyfriend, is totally trying to be Nicolas Cage from Valley Girl. Yeah. Yeah. I uh, The boyfriend, though, is played by John Grease, which I didn't really, like, realize uh, on my first watch through... But he, as you may know, is uh, Uncle Rico on Napoleon Dynamite. And it's really great to see him, like, in other roles. He's also in Monster Squad. Um, He plays uh, the werewolf in human form in Monster Squad. Well, truly, O.D., the boyfriend, grows up to be Uncle Rico. I mean, you can yeah, totally, you can you can totally see, that. see that. Yeah, happening. when he played Uncle Rico, he just continued his OD character. Right, and then of course the biggest alien movie of the '80s, ET. They forget the movie. He's like, it's like that yeah. monster. What? And the little kid goes, makes you cry like a butthole. <laughs> <laughs> ET. Yeah. Which was pretty clever. Yeah. There's a lot of cleverness, and it looks like the actors were having a fun time doing it. Yeah, it's really great. I've met a couple of the actors, as I told you while we were watching it, and they all look back fondly on that movie, you know, as ridiculous as it is. Um, it's just it's just a good time. Who, what studio made that? Charles Band. Charles so Band. they're also responsible for, like, Puppet Master and the evil Bong movie. Are they all that campy and I ridiculous? Think so. Yeah, I have. We'll get to it eventually. I have all nine Puppet Master movies on like four discs or something. Not inspired by the Metallica song at all. No, okay. they're actual puppets. So I um I knew people that dressed like that. Yeah. I, I can't say that I went that wild with my 80s theme, but I did have the bangles. Didn't have the lacy gloves. <laughs> Couldn't do that. But I had the bangles. And there was this great, uh, I think it's funny, you probably won't, but Medusa's talking about she went and got got some rats done. Yeah. And that was, everybody had rat tails in the 80s. Right. Very clever. You could just go on and on with the 80s yeah. puns and innuendos in there. It's, it's great. It's a good movie. So next again, two hours of my life. I'll never get back. <laughs> so next week, I am thinking about starting with or going with uh, the first horror movie that I ever saw, which was John Carpenter's Halloween. So we're gonna go classic slasher and mm-hmm. definitely way more scary. How do you feel about that? Um, I'm gonna have to get some adult diapers. <laughs> <laughs> I I can't I can't do it. I just I just. I don't, I, you know me, I walked yeah. away when Goosebumps got scared. Yeah. So, um, okay, I'll just, I have You're a gonna, week to prepare. Yeah, you got a week. <sighs> and I don't I know. just, I want you to see, there's a lot of slasher movies that I want you to see because there's a lot of slasher movie comedies that I want you to see, but it's like, 
You have to see I, the old movies to get the references and the funny points and the comedies. I don't know where you came from because you've always liked horror. I mean, yeah. I don't understand. I don't, I don't know. understand it. I don't get it. Why do you want to be this scared? I mean, have you ever like really jumped and like been, oh my god, like had bad dreams well, after watching it? Not bad dreams, but I mean, you know, I think everybody is susceptible to a jump scare from time to time. I mean, mm. it's it's a a technique that's used in horror, like to give you a jolt. But okay, but if you have to get up and go to the bathroom in the middle of the night, don't you just like? Aren't you afraid to go in that dark room? No. Oh my god, I Not like particularly. I have visions of like glowing eyes looking at me yeah. from the mirror or I couldn't even for a I wouldn't even go downstairs in the basement <laughs> after scenes. And I don't remember I, th- I mean I think I think I got get you you get used to it after a long time, but when you dive so far into horror movies you're just kind of like you know. What about when you go to a haunted house? It's pretty you walk through and you mm. appreciate the masks and the effort put into it rather than but be scared. scared. I think that's, I was trying to think back to, you know, when I was growing up, you had Frankenstein and the Dracula. And I just, and probably the thing that scared me the most, and he's not really even supposed to be scary, is um, The Hunchback of Notre Dame. Yeah, he's creepy. I saw that movie as a, a little girl, and I just remember feeling so sorry for him, but then so repulsed and scared by him. And ever since then, couldn't do it. Yeah. Couldn't do it. It's well, okay. we're going to make you do it. Okay. So next week, we will be back with uh, John Carpenter's Halloween. Okay. So it's going to be a fun time. Okay. Uh, until then, uh, we'll see you next time. Mm.